Elliot and Damien with Saturday Headlines. George, you used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> you don't anymore. Okay, a couple of things happening tonight that we wanted to update you on. First of all, a potentially scary moment in Nashville, Winnipeg. Watch this, Mark Stewart and Seth Jones, and then the skate to uh, Thorburn right there. Everybody okay, Jones stayed in the game. Thorburn actually fought after that, so the good news is, is that did not turn out to be as bad as everybody was worried. There were reports today that there might be supplemental for this. Zach Smith on uh, Derek Stepan. The word is we're going to see nothing further from that, Damian. Well, and with all these big hits, there's no wonder the NHL has a concussion committee and there's all sorts of issues around concussions. Well, they met yesterday, and one of the big issues is, surrounds concussion spotters. These are the people employed by the teams who are supposed to point out if there's a problem. Now, you saw this big hit on Brad Marchand by Gabriel Landeskog early in the week. Landeskog got suspended. Marchand didn't leave the game. You see him there talking to officials. His teammates even asked him. There was no indication he should be out of the game. Now, the spotter, whether he could have done or not, but the question is, is the system working as it is right now? Ultimately, many people believe it'll end up in the hands of the Department of Player Safety. Now, Elliot, last week you told us about uh, Patrick Marlowe and that he might be moving from the San Jose Sharks this week, Colorado. Yeah, a lot of rumors about Matt Duchesne this week, and I think that's been talked a lot about. But one other name in, in Colorado a lot of people are wondering about is Tyson Berry. Tyson Berry has ar uh, arbitration rights at the end of this year. He's a restricted free agent. And if there's teams are waiting to see, does Colorado think they can sign this guy? And if not, I think that's a name you're going to start to hear a lot out there because there's a lot of interest. The other one too, Patrick Weirkoch was a healthy scratch by Ottawa last night. Last year, the Senators became very close to a deal with the Avalanche. I looked into it again this, this week. Doesn't sound like though that one's on the front burner, Damien. All right, we know Martin Brodeur holds a lot of the goaltending records. Asked him today about bigger nets. He said, I don't think people would even notice. And he said, I think that's where we're going eventually. And by the way, his son Anthony is playing for Penticton in the BC Junior League after the Devils didn't sign him. He stopped 45 of 46 Six shots last night. Penticton won their 21st straight game. He's 13-0, hoping to get an NHL or a professional contract somewhere. All right, and George, as we send it back to you, one of the note, the NHL and the NHLPA could decide on three-on-three -on -three for the All-Star game this week. All right, thank you very much, Frizzy.